Okay, good morning everyone from stage one at Giant Health today. Uh, fantastic that you can all join us here and it's my absolute privilege to introduce Miss Hanya Ahmed to the stage and she's going to be talking to us from applied nano detectors. She has a, a first class uh, engineering degree and is doing a PhD in machine learning and is an exceptional uh, scientist experienced at uh, look, working on big challenges in health. Um, Hanya, may I pass over to you? Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello and good morning. Uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating the world's first point of care breath test for asthma and diagnosis and self-management. So I'm first going to be starting about asthma and its challenges, explaining briefly about breath analysis, uh, as well as explaining uh, artificial, intelligence, artificial intelligence and machine learning, and how we combine all three in our AI solution, as well as a quick high-level high view, and how we apply the, our point of care test to both of our, our applications, which is diagnosis and self-management, and then a quick summary. So first of all, asthma, there's, there's around 5.4 million people in the UK that are affected by asthma, which means it's one in four families are affected by it. And uh, most asthmatic people, severe asthmatics, cannot control or monitor their asthma. Thus, it creates asthma attacks. Asthma attacks uh, include their worsening of their lungs and inflammation. So that that revolves around, that's around 65K emergencies that are 75% preventable. So breath analysis, uh, breath analysis is an NHS approved non-invasive test where it detects biomarkers in your breath and it creates a personalized fingerprint from each person's breath where it can help detect and monitor diseases. On the right, you can see a simple uh, video where it describes how the biomarkers go from your lungs into our device. So our main solution is integrating both breath analysis uh, to detect biomarkers and lung function parameters to, to predict uh, using AI pred asthma attacks and how to help asthmatics prevent, prevent them. So we've already had uh, pre collected preclinical data with NHS experts. So artificial intelligence and machine learning revolves around uh, ide methods identifying patterns and how to predict foreseeable future to help the patient uh, for, for giving pa patient support and preventative interventions. So past research have used multiple machine learning techniques that uh, help predict asthma attacks one day before it. So there's many disadvantages for it. So the first one is that they usually use one, only one metric. For example, the most widely known is peak flow. The second disadvantage is that they usually only predict one day window, which does not give which does not give enough time for the patient to control it or, mo or control it or try to prevent it. And the third and the main limitation is that they're all based on big data on the cloud. So it, it, it does not have any close monitoring or personalization. So our, a solution, our, our AI solution uh, revolves around the three Ps, which is predict, personalize, and prevent. Predict, we are predicting using the, our, deep, our specific deep neural network, where each layer revolves around one of our parameters. And it's trained with predefined ranges and our pre-recorded patients. Our, prevent, our personalization occurs through fine-tuning our deep neural network on the chip, which is embedded. And we, pr we, we fine tune it daily after every patient's breath test. This, this, this provides pr personalization and help more helpful. Prevent, preventation, it occurs through since we predict three days in ahead for pr uh, if you are going to have an asthma attack. And this helps give a window for the patient and helps them be able to prevent. So our high level view, um, it starts off with beginning with the patient where they perform the daily test and then through onto the device, there's, there, there's three main things that have occurs. So the first one is saves data into the flash memory. The second, it sends the data to the mobile application so they can monitor it. 
And the third and the most important one is that through embedded personalized deep neural network, it predicts the real-time score for three days in ahead. So the score involves the traffic light indication system, which green, amber, and red, you're doing well, um, your asthma is uncontrolled, and it's an emergency, respectively. And then on the mobile app, it sends the data to the applied nanodetector cloud, uh, through encryption and also there's multiple functionalities where the patient can also see their history, symptoms, medication and action plan. On the cloud, it helps predict, uh, we also do a big data approach which is predicts also the same score for further validation and also it saves onto the cloud to display to your GP's uh, portal. So our there's two main applications that we have on our point of care test. The, fir the first one is self-management, where it is mostly aimed for severe asthmatics at home, where they, are, they needed to monitor themselves and their asthmas and help them to predict asthma attacks throughout. The second one is diagnosis, which is a low cost for primary care. Uh, it's, an, it's a very objective testing and it helps GPs pr rule out asthma. So for the self-management, as you can see, this is the flow of how a patient would use it at home. So at the beginning, you would securely log in. And after you log in, you start the test with our device. And while on the mobile app, you'll have to blow. Uh, it's not a forced exhalation. It's a simple, uh, it's a simple exhalation where you need to keep the white ball within the two red lines so it, we control the flow to get the most uh, biomarkers from your lungs. And then after, the, after you're done with the test, you find the scores where you can see it provides you with the three different scores for each day. And uh, where we, again, use the traffic light indication system where one, two, and three are respectively green, amber, and red. So the second application is diagnosis where Again, you after this is mostly aimed for at the GP's office, where you securely log in, do the patient test with your GP or nurse, and then it automatically shows on their health management system your, uh, wh where you're either asthmatic or not. So we have a live demo, so I'm going to call my colleague up to, to show you the device. So Jonah is going to switch it on. And then after you're, whoop, after you're going to securely log in, you're going to get a reminder to have, take your medication. And after that, we'll start the test where you'll find POC breath test on the first devices. And then the first thing, Jonah needs to do a questionnaire, the asthma test questionnaire, where it asks how she's doing today. Yeah. And then she's going to have to breathe within the two red lines for four seconds. So right now it's processing the results. So it's processing the whole breath for four seconds on the chip. It uses embedded AI to, to basically predict the three days ahead. And that is what it's doing right now. As you can see, it takes a few seconds. It doesn't take long. And then it shows automatically your three day tests. And Jonah's doing well. <laughs> so. A full summary is that our main advantages are our AI, as you can see, it produces real-time results. It happens, occurs within three seconds or less. And also, it, it outcomes personalized uh, results every single time the patient does it daily. Also, all of this edge computing that's occurring on the chip has not been done yet. So we are the world's first demonstration for point-of-care test. And we actually just won the best healthcare technology solution of the year. Thank you. If you have any questions, come meet us at stand F4 and we're having a live demo at 12.32 or one, sorry. <laughs> Thank you.
congratulations on not, not only your technology solution, but also on the recognition that you're getting. Thank uh, you so much. So many people are going to benefit from the use of this technology, and I Thank wish you, you well. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much for coming to speak this morning. Thank you.